Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we're gonna to be going over my updated Bastion deck. So Bastion got some pretty cool support from DBT03, including Lag Rally, or however it's pronounced. Um, and it's kind of really changed up the way that you play the Bastion deck, and I actually kind of like it a lot more. So I wanted to show you guys what a typical standard Bastion deck looks like, and kind of go about how you play the deck and why it's a lot more fun. So we'll just go ahead and get right into the ride deck first. Our starter is base, same one that came in the trial deck, but it really doesn't matter which starter you pick. Grade one is gonna be fort. So fort skill is when you ride rooks on top of it, you reveal two grade threes. Top, look at the top card of your deck. If it's a normal unit, you call it anywhere. If it's a order, you have to put it in your drop zone. So we do run orders in the deck, so that can happen, but since you run a bunch of great threes and there's also triggers, you're most likely going to be calling something. And grade two for the ride line is rooks. So obviously you ride rooks over fort to get a fort skill. So rook skill is when you ride bastion on top of rooks, you reveal three great threes from your hand, then you draw a card. Um, that's pretty much it. We're only using rooks and fort in the main or in the ride deck, so we don't have to worry about their other skills on the rear guard circles. Um, and last but not least, we're running Apex Ruler Bastion as our grade three for our ride deck. So Bastion skill is um, passively during your turn, all your grade threes get 2K. And then when your drive check reveals a grade three unit, you discard a card from your hand, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets 10K. So what's cool about Bastion skill is it means any drive check, meaning it doesn't have to be the one just from when the Vanguard attacks. So since like Relly gains drive check, and on top of that, you also have the over trigger, which gives you rear guard drive check. So anytime a rear guard could possibly get off a grade three during their twin drive, you can pull off Bastion's effect as well. So let's go ahead and get into the main deck. Starting off three copies of Bastion so we can have our full play set. So mostly Persona Ride, you know, you wanna get those off. Uh, it's a grade three, so. <laughs> it's still helpful to have in the deck. So yeah, I wanna max out the Bastions just for the Persona ride. All right, next up to basically the core, like what the deck is themed around, which is Lag, Lag Rally. So Lag Rally's skill is kind of weird, but once you get used to how it works, you kind of get an idea how you wanna play with the card. It's when it attacks a Vanguard, you kind of blast two, and you rest any number of your other rear guards. And until the end of that battle, this unit gains drive check. So it becomes twin drive, because it already has it passively. And it gets an additional 5k as well. At the end of that battle, if you rested three or less units, you have to drop three cards. And if you rested one or less units, you have to drop two cards. So that's not an either or. So meaning if you do rest the one unit, you have to drop a total of five cards from your hand which is a lot considering you only get two from the twin drive and you rested a unit. So basically in order to avoid dropping anything, you have to rest four units or four rear guards. So that means you have to rest all your open circles, but at least you're guaranteed that you won't lose any of the drive checks. Um, and you also get to apply pressure to your opponent knowing that this unit is gonna maybe get a critical trigger when you drive check. Um, also when you discard, you can choose to restand like Rally again, so you still get your three attacks for the turn. You just get four drive checks. So that's a nice way to play with the card. Other way you can play around with it is you can do the resting two units. You still have to drop three, but at least you'll get, you know, four attacks as opposed to just, or yeah, four attacks as opposed to just the three. Um, but it's the getting the extra drive checks that really makes this card pop just because there's that pressure that you might get a critical trigger on that next drive check. So it's a really, really fun card to play around with. So I'm liking Leg Rally a lot. Next up, this is another go-to card. Hasn't really left the Bastion deck since day one. We're running four copies of Alden. Alden's skill is when it's placed on rear, you kind of blast two, so blast one. Choose a card from your hand, call it. If it's a grade three, you draw two. So you're getting more resources out of that. 
When it attacks, if you have three or more grade threes, this gets 5k until the end of turn. So it keeps that 5k on that first swing. If you restand it with Bastion's skill, it gets another 5k on that second swing. So it's a really good beat stick as well. So definitely want to run four Alden just because resources and it's a good beater. All right. Next, we're running four copies of Refuerzis. Keep on forgetting this card's name. So Refuerzis skill is if you Persona Road this turn, this gets boost. And then when it's in the back row, when your other unit in the same column as this stands, you can stand this as well. So the reason we're running this is because you're going to be doing a lot of drive checks throughout the game, which means you're going to be getting more opportunity to see more copies of Bastion as you're filtering through your deck. So with that said, you're eventually going to be in a position where you're going to Persona Ride and having this in your back row, especially if you're going to rest it with like a Lagrelli skill, you restand Lagrelli, you can still restand this and still get a pretty big beater on that final swing. So being able to restand with that is really good. It's just a good booster overall. Just anytime you're, whatever you're restanding, being a 15k booster is just great. So that's why we're running four of this card. It's a, you just need to fill your board anyways, even if you're gonna rest this, even if you didn't Persona Ride that turn, it's still a rest target for like Rally and it's not gonna restand anyway, so it's fine. So it ends up working out for the deck anyways. It's just a really, really good push card. And speaking of cards that help you push, we're keeping the four copies of Reflux. So what Reflux does is you act, move it to soul, choose one of your grade three rear guards and it gets an extra 10K. So this is really good if you're trying to set up your turn for Ocho's and Knights and you need grade threes. You can then put this into the soul, pick another grade three that's gonna be a bigger beat stick, like Black Rally if you want this to be like a um, 30K beater on its own with twin drive, you can have that. Um, it's just really good with Alden as well if you wanna make this a uh, 30K beater as well. So there's options you can do with Reflux to help push, but also what's important is that it fills your soul too. And we do use a lot of soul in this deck. So you wanna make sure you can be able to replenish your soul to use skills like for Alden, Ochosen Knights, and You'll see the other cards in the deck that require soul as well. Speaking of O Chosen Knights, three copies of the order form up O Chosen Knights. So what this card does is you pay the cost, kind of blast, soul blast. You perform the abilities based on the number of your grade three units. So that includes your Vanguard. If you have two or more grade threes, you choose one of your units, it gets 5k. If you have three or more, you draw a card. And if you have four or more, you choose your Vanguard and it gets a drive check. So Including Leg Rally, you're going to be getting five drive checks during the turn thanks to Chosen Knights. That's just a lot of cards you're going to be going through. So having O Chosen Knights there just to kind of apply more pressure to your opponent, seeing you might get crits or whenever you need to get a grade three just for to pull off the restand skill, it's just a really, really good card. Also, just being able to give a unit an extra 5k, you get to draw a card, meaning whatever the paying this card's cost just putting in the order zone, you get that card back, so you're not really losing out on hand as well. Makes it just a really good order card in general. All right, so now we're on to the grade ones. This was an interesting uh, addition to the Bastion deck since it's not a grade three, but pretty much everyone agrees that this card is needed as of right now for the Bastion deck. So it's Divine Sister Faciata. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, rear guard, once per turn. Auto, when you drive check reveals a trigger, you soul blast two, you counter charge one. So originally, Fasado was our go to counter charger, but considering that you have to rest your rear guards to get off like Rally skill and be able to, you know, kind of do what the deck does, there isn't really a good opportunity for Fasado to do its swing and apply pressure and get your counter charge and soul back. But, um, because you're gonna be doing a lot of drive checking, there are plenty of opportunities for you to drive check a trigger and be able to get that counter charge back. Um, this deck plays really fast, so if you you know pull down two Fasciatas, you Soul Blast four to counter charge two, that gets your counter charge back for either Alden or Lagrelli skills, um, and you're gonna have 
about ways to soul charge with your new crit trigger or with reflux. Rewriting from the persona ride helps you fill up your soul as well. So there's ways to fill your soul so the deck feels some kind of balanced, but if you go too fast, you're gonna waste your soul. Um, but you wanna play the deck kind of fast anyways, because you wanna just pressure your opponent with those drive checks and those crits. So next up for grade ones, it's just our four PGs. Perfect guards help you not die, and this one lets it make it so that if you only have uh, one or less in hand after you place it, you don't have to discard, so that's nice as well. So it's a, it's a better PG. All right, so that was it for the normal units. We're now gonna get into our triggers, starting off with our over trigger, which is our Martinoa. When it's drive check for its additional effect, um, your rear guards perform drive checks as well. So since your whole deck is grade threes and your front row is gonna be grade threes, when they swing, they're gonna perform twin drive. So that's a really great card in general, just for the deck, because you wanna be drive checking a bunch anyways. So if you do, let's say you do lag rally first, you twin drive, boom, armor to know it. Now your rear guards keep twin drive for the rest of the turn. If your other drive check was a grade three, restand like rally, swing again, twin drive. Vanguard swings, twin drive. If uh, you didn't rest your whole board, this one's gonna swing a twin drive. So Armat to know is a good over trigger. Next up, going into our crits, starting with a new card, Blade Feather Dragon. So at the end of the battle that this boosted, you put this into your soul and you choose one of your units and it gets 2K. So the extra 2K doesn't really change the numbers too much, but if you really need to throw down a unit onto your board, just so you can use like really to rest stuff, you can throw down Blade Feather just so that maybe the next turn when it stands and it boosts, you know, you can move it to soul. Or if you call it from the top of your deck through fort skill, you can put it behind your van so that at the end of the battle it boosts, it goes to soul, and now you have soul for um, Faciata, the grade one. So Blade Feather, it's just a crit with a skill, and crits with skills are better than vanillas. So we're running the Blade Feather. Next up, more crits because crit pressure and crits help you win games. So we're running the one that came in the, uh, the trial deck, Gurgant. And next up, instead of running the front triggers, we're going back to running draw triggers. So I'm running four draws on the deck just because you are gonna be discarding a bunch with Lagrelli skill, but also you wanna be able to see your key pieces and you wanna be able to build a board like pretty much every turn. So when you run draw triggers, you get them off defensively during your opponent's turn, you're filling your hand, you get them off early game by drive checking. These are things that are gonna help you fill your hand so that you can just throw down a whole board, rest four or two with like rally just so you can be offensive. And you can even just call the draw trigger from your hand when you drive check it. So it's a good way to help you fill your board. So I'm liking draw triggers in this deck a lot. So we're doing the four draw instead of the front triggers. And last but not least, four heals because heals help you survive. You know, who doesn't want to play Vanguard longer, right? <laughs> All right, that was it for the trigger lineup and for the whole deck for the most part. I'll go ahead and kind of talk about what the main game plan of this deck pretty much is. The whole goal of the deck is obviously Black Rally, right? That's the whole way that you're gonna play this deck. So you wanna maybe get a Faciata. The rest of your board doesn't really matter. You just wanna fill your board with units. And what I like to do is after I fill my, uh, fill my hand, or fill my board, I'm sorry, and then I have like maybe, let's say two or three cards in my hand, what I like to do is swing with Lag Rally, and then I can only rest, let's say, two things, right? So you rest your two things, and now you have to discard three when it restands. So you do your twin drive, one, two, now you're at four in hand. You first use Bastion Skill if you get a grade three, discard one, restand something, then you would use like Rally Skill, discard the rest, and then now you can go into Bastion, swing, get your twin drive, swing, swing. So now you can get four attacks that way. That's like one way to be kind of like aggressive, but obviously if you wanna keep your hand, you can, rest the four, 
swing, get your twin drive, swing, get your twin drive, so you keep your four units, discard one, restand, swing again. Um, it's mostly just kind of like to apply pressure to your opponent because whenever you're drive checking, there's a fear for a crit or even an over trigger. So in a format where over triggers exist, drive checks are gonna be the thing that make your opponent decide how they're gonna play the turn. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a very, very, very aggressive deck, and that's why I think I like it a lot more than what the traditional Bastion deck was, which was kind of just like, yeah, fill my board, swing with rear, restand, swing, swing, okay, we'll do it again next turn. Like, at least with like Rally, it's like, you can either choose to be aggressive, throw down your whole hand and just beat face, or you can choose to be kind of conservative and just rest a field, swing, twin drives, get some draw triggers, get some crits, give your vanguard a crit, swing with your vanguard that now has a crit and your opponent's like, oh shoot, well now has a crit, I feel like I have some pressure, I need to guard this. So, you know, and then you twin drive, oh, you got a grade three, restand, swing again. Maybe you got a, another crit in a grade three, so you get to swing with this with the crit again. So there's different ways you can play around with this deck and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I'll stop talking there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I've honestly been having a lot of fun with this variant of Bastion, and I'm looking forward to seeing how playing with Bastion Prime is going to be when set 4 drops, so that's all I really got to say about my deck. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!